Good morning guys, welcome to today's vlog. I'm here in the car with Joe and we're going to the dermatologist. We have like a romantic date today to the dermatologist. Oh, oh dear, she's having a bit of a meltdown. You're vlogging because you're not talking to her. She gets mad every time that I vlog, right? Wish us luck, we are taking her to our appointment and I, she's probably gonna be crazy. But I haven't been to the dermatologist in like years. Like I can't even remember the last time that I went. So I wanted to get like a full body check. So that's what we're gonna do today. <laughs> Look at this baby in her little shoes. Are you gonna behave like a good girl? Are you gonna behave, Bean? We're here in the room and the baby is eating all her puffs. <laughs> Yummy. And then every time <laughs> she keeps saying bye to me. Bye. I'm here wearing this beautiful gown. Look gorgeous. All right, so we are all done as a dermatologist. Riley behaved really good because we were constantly feeding her snacks. So if you have to go to a doctor's appointment with a little one, just make sure you have a ton of snacks. They did do a biopsy, so I had like a mole like on my shoulder. So they did a biopsy, they like stuck me with a needle, they shaved it off. So I think I get the results back in two weeks, but I feel better at least knowing that I don't know that I'm doing something about it and getting it checked. All right, so we are home and I'm so excited because we picked up a Philly cheesesteak. This is the best Philly I've ever had in my entire life. It's from a place called Broadway Subs. It's in like the Homestead area if you guys live in South Florida. Um, it is amazing, this Philly. Like anytime that I can have it, I go and I grab it and then they have like fries. They have like a pink some kind of pink sauce. Oh my God, this is so good. Then can I tell you guys how much I love Amazon? I'm trying not to get my address in here, but this was supposed to come in tomorrow and it came in today. So we're gonna set this up. I'm so excited because Bean loves the swings. Um, so this one we're gonna set up and put in our backyard. So yeah, I think my doormat is pretty appropriate for today. Riley is just happy to be home so she can play with her blocks. You wanna play with your blocks? Here, I open them for you. Come right here. Come here. This baby is gonna be all out of control because she didn't nap today. Maybe we'll try later. <laughs> Look at your vlog. <laughs> hey! You guys, I have a terrible, terrible migraine right now. I don't know if any of you guys suffer from migraines, but I get migraines from time to time. It's been like an ongoing thing. But right now it's pretty bad. And then the worst thing about it is that since you guys know, like Joe and I are trying to conceive baby number two. So now that there's always like this chance that maybe I could be pregnant, like I'm trying to avoid taking, um, like I think you're not supposed to take Advil if you're pregnant. Um, there's like a lot of medicines that you really shouldn't be taking if you're pregnant. So like all the stuff that I would normally be using, I kind of like try not to use. So now my migraine is just not gonna go away. I'm gonna have to deal with it all day long. If it gets really bad, I think Tylenol you're allowed to use. So yeah, that's what my day is gonna be looking like. I don't know if I've told you guys here, but um, I did a vlog not too long ago showing you guys that Riley took her first steps and she has been walking like every once in a while. Like she's still not walking like on her own like 24 7 she's not there yet i think she's still kind of scared um but every once in a while she'll like take three or four steps so i'm trying to encourage her just to spend as much time out here so she'll walk but she's just like she's like lazy like i don't know what else to say except that she just would prefer to crawl it's faster that way so i'm hoping that here in the next few weeks she'll get with the program get her hiding all her stuff in there Whenever I put away her toys, like I'll always be missing pieces and then I look here in Bugly Wugly and sure enough she has stashed them here. Either there or here in her little ice cream cart. There's like a little compartment and she always has stuff like hidden in here. And I always forget to check. Joe also brought her this toy from St. Augustine. Um, when he got back he like brought her a couple toys. And this is so cool because they're magnets and Riley has had so much fun playing with them because like you build stuff and everything is magnetic. So that's been like new, like watching her figure out like magnets. Goody. Are you cleaning up? All right, so I just ran into my bedroom so I can throw on a pair of leggings because I'm gonna try to assemble Riley's swing if it's not too hard. Um, but really quick, since I have a moment, I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about, like I mentioned earlier about like the whole trying to conceive. This month, I have been 
super like nervous and super just like in my head about the whole process um i've mentioned before like my thoughts on the whole trying to conceive and the fact that like it's very difficult and stressful i will leave that video linked down below in case you guys are interested in watching it but i feel like this month in particular i have been really like in tune with my body and like really just like hyper aware of everything that's been going through and i've been trying to keep a log of like all the symptoms that i've been experiencing and everything that i've been like feeling so that if i do wind up being pregnant then i can like tell you guys like what the actual symptoms were or if i'm not pregnant then i can also know like okay these are just like pms symptoms so i've been like keeping track of everything but this month for some reason I really really feel like I might be pregnant and like it's one of those things where like you really don't want to get your hopes up because like there's always like the disappointment that comes like when you do get your period and when you wind up not being pregnant um but I feel like I could be like I feel like I had some cramps like early on in like my cycle like not at the time that I would actually have my period so that kind of leads me to believe that maybe it was like implantation cramping and then I've just I don't know like today is actually the day where like my app says that I should be getting my period so far I don't have my period yet so I know that it can show up later in the day I know that it can show up maybe tomorrow my cycle has been pretty consistent like I'm either um like my cycle is either like 27 or 28 days I did have one cycle that was like 26 days but between 26 and 28 days is normally when my period shows up and today we are on day 27 and still nothing so I'm still holding out hope that maybe this month I'm pregnant. I've been taking the like internet cheapy tests that I have and those have all been negative. I haven't seen any lines, but I don't know. Like I kind of like, there's a part of me that wants to like go out and like get a first response um, to test. But then there's like the other part of me like that doesn't want to because if it comes back negative, I'm just gonna be like really sad. But like I've told you before, like if I get my period now, I'm still gonna be sad. So what's the harm in knowing before? I don't know but either way within the next few days i will know something and i'm hoping to be able to share that with you guys if you guys follow my channel you know that we're still like very early in our trying to conceive journey this is really like cycle three for us of like really really trying um so we'll see what happens but i'm just like so nervous and if you guys have ever like tried to conceive like the entire day like anytime i feel anything if i feel like a cramp or if i feel anything i'm like oh my god does that mean i'm gonna get my period and like anything that happens like today i have a migraine and i'm like why do i have a migraine is that pregnancy related is it pms related um like just anything that i feel in my body like i'm just hyper aware of it so yeah that's what i've been going through over here like i said hopefully in the next few days we'll have an answer Dada is almost done with the swing. She's been playing out here with her chalk. We have like this little thing here by our door where she can play with chalk. I have like a whole thing of all the colors. And then she has her little car. And then I don't know if you guys have seen this, but this is the sectional couch that Joe built us from scratch. So he got the wood at Lowe's or Home Depot and he built this. So we're very proud of our couch. And then I ordered the pillows on Amazon. I'm so glad he's handy because I am not at all. If it was up to Mama Bean, you'd just be playing with sticks because I can't assemble anything. Yeah. See, look, that's all she wants to do, play with the dirt. My mom is probably cringing watching this. So that's a wrap. That is her new little swing set. It is 206. So that's about 20 minutes it took to assemble it. Was it hard? No. Oh my God, it's so cute. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Goody, are you gonna go?
go on the swing? Oh, she's definitely fat enough for it. <laughs> God, there's dirt all over her fingernails. Yeah. I think I paid like $34 for this maybe. And I think it's super cute. The only like downside to it is that it's low to the ground. Like it doesn't, you know, like grow with them. So eventually there's going to reach a point where she can't use it anymore. Are you ready? <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Gundy! I'm trying to get her face. <laughs> What do you think, Goody? I've been wanting to get her a little swing for the longest time. A good life. <laughs> we moved it over here where there was more shade because it is so hot outside. It's like almost 90 degrees out here. She's just gonna live her best life this summer playing with all her toys out here. We love you, Gordy. <laughs> <laughs> So I tried to get her to go inside for a snack and so she could have some water and that was a mistake because she was screaming bloody murder. Here, drink your agua. When I tried to take her out of this swing, I brought her like a little apple and broccoli pouch. You want this? <laughs> you want a snack? This is how she wants to eat right now. All right, so I've been inside for a little while. Riley loved her swing, but I've been inside cleaning, so I'm actually filming a cleaning video. So I've been doing a little bit of vacuuming, cleaning. I cleaned up the kitchen because it was a disaster, and now I'm gonna go get Riley because she's up, and I gotta clean her room too. Hi, Gordy. Hi. Good morning. Did you have a good nap? That was a really good nap. <laughs> and how do you say dada? Dada. And how do you say mimi? Mimi. How do you say baby? Mama. How do you say baby? Baby. How much do you love mama? <laughs> that much. Gordy, how much do you like mama? <laughs> Yay, this much. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! How much you love daddy? Dad, 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 dad. How much you love daddy? <laughs> and dada's gonna go work out. How much do you love daddy? Uh, no. She loves me. Alright, I've got a huge mess to clean up. Mama, dada. Say bye bye, dada. Look at all of this. This is a disaster. So I'm gonna clean up her room. It's okay. Dada, dada, dada. She gets so sad now. Every time somebody like leaves a room, dada. she gets sad. She's so happy because I turned on Puppy Dog Pals in her room. That's like one of her favorite shows. Watching Puppy Dog Pals. I have so much clothes that I have to like organize in her room. Hello. <laughs> Riley has one new tooth up there and I think her molars are coming in. So she has been super cranky and fussy because she's getting all of her teeth. Whoa! Hello. Can I see your teeth? Daddy brought her home these little finger puppets from his trip and she will not let them go. She has a cow, a dog, and she has a shark somewhere. But this is her new favorite activity. She like collects things on that little chair. She'll say clean up, clean up. And then she just collects stuff and puts it on the chair. 
Good job. All right, you guys, so that's gonna be it for today's vlog. We're here hanging out in the family room. We're about to eat our dinner, and then we're gonna start Riley's nighttime routine. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you guys enjoyed this vlog. Make sure to give it a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.